Hi everybody, this is Jose Heredia with ADJ here for another Facebook Live here on a Thursday. I know we missed it on the Wednesday, but uh, we wanted to save a little bit of time for you so that we can present to you what we have here today. And what we have here are hybrid moving head fixtures. So if you want to take a look right here to my left, your right, we have two uh, ADJ hybrid fixtures. We have the ADJ um, BS, Vizi BSW 300 and the ADJ Vizi Hybrid 16RX. Now, uh, they're both uh, hybrid fixtures, but uh, the big difference between the both of them is that one of them, this one, the BSW 300, is an LED discharge uh, uh, fixture, and oh, sorry, LED uh, fixture, and this one is a discharge fixture or a lamp fixture. So uh, they all kind of share a little bit of similarities between each of them. Uh, slightly different in a couple of areas, but overall they're hybrid fixtures. And you're probably wondering, wondering to yourself, what is a hybrid fixture? Uh, a hybrid fixture, or a hybrid in general, is essentially where you take several technologies and combine them into one product. So I don't know if you knew, uh, you guys are probably carrying around or actually holding a hybrid right now. Yes, at home or in your car or wherever you may be, a uh, hybrid is essentially in your pocket. This device, personal device, is a hybrid. It's a phone, it's also a camera, and also a personal computing device. And when they first came out, uh, they were pretty awesome. And you can have three things at once. And here we have a perfect example of having three things working together in one product. And also, why would you use a hybrid product? Oh, it's very simple. Uh, it will save you a lot of money in the long run. What you're looking at is uh, three different effects in one. You have your spot, which I'm going to show you right now. This is kind of your spot fixture. Then you go into a beam fixture. And finally, you have a wash fixture. And with these three types of uh, beams will allow you to create all sorts of cool stuff for your shows, your productions, your events, your uh, venues. So instead of buying uh, several beam fixtures and several spot fixtures and maybe wash fixtures, you can save all that money by buying a hybrid fixture. And that allows you to go into a mode where it's just a beam fixture if you really want those really tight, narrow uh, looking beams for your event. Or maybe if you're uh, going into uh, a, a an event or a venue where a spot is needed, where you wanted to project uh, gobos or patterns or something, then that's where the spot uh, mode comes in handy. Or maybe you're uh, needing a wide color wash or wide uh, uh, spray of light in a particular area, then that's where the wash would come in. And the applications for venues is really uh, quite different too. So. Uh, if you're a venue for a permanent installation, maybe the BSW might be your choice because the uh, Vizi 16RX hybrid has a discharge lamp and it has a limited lifespan, whereas the LED has a much more bigger lifespan than the discharge lamp. So uh, if uh, going up and changing lamps is a big issue or you want to keep that from happening, the LED fixture is probably your best bet. However, the discharge lamp does provide a little bit more power output than the BSW 300. So if you're a production company or a DJ company and you need the high capacity output, maybe the 16RX is your choice uh, for your event or for your venue. Uh, and uh, they both share a lot of similarities in the fact that they have color options, they have gobo options, they have uh, both uh, 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 prisms and really cool ways of controlling the fixtures uh, but these are definitely for the next level of production not your entry-level lighting fixtures for uh, some of you so for those of you who are serious about lighting and looking into diversifying remember that with uh, this keyword is a pro tip diversification so if you have multiple fixtures in your arsenal and you want to combine them into one this is a great product for you because it has that capability of having beam, spot, and wash capabilities all within one fixture. So you don't have to bring three lights to one venue, you just bring one. 
and that's going to save you time and it's also going to save you money. So I'm uh, going to show you a little bit of comparison between the two. Uh, here we have um, the uh, Visi BSW. Uh, the Visi B BSW contains a 300 watt white LED. Uh, the LED color temperature is about 8,000 degrees Kelvin and uh, has a lot of, lot of great features. For instance, it has uh, two separate color wheels uh, with seven colors in each wheel. You have two separate gobo wheels. One is a static gobo wheel and the other one's a rotating indexing replaceable gobo wheel. We have electronic dimming and ele ele excuse me, electronic strobing. What that means is there's no mechanical strobing. It's all done through the LED. And of course, the dimming is also done with the LED. There's no shutter to actually physically go between you and the light source to uh, cut the light to be able to create dimming and strobing. So that might be a plus. There's no mechanical things that you have to worry about. Uh, we do have a frost and a prism lens. So that frost will create your wash. The prism lens will create prism effects, whether you're in spot mode or in beam mode. And of course, uh, uh, you have all sorts of really cool other uh, uh, features as well. Runs a lot cooler than the Vizi 16RX, and that's for sure. I can actually touch the back of the moving head, whereas I cannot do that for the 16RX. If I touch it, the plate in the back, the steel plate, I would, I would probably get burned. And you also don't want to have that 16RX in beam mode hit something for a very long period of time. So uh, just a little bit of a caution there. Moving over to the 16RX, just a quick overview of some of the features. We're looking at a uh, total of 14 colors, uh, and both offer split colors so that you can combine two colors into one beam. Uh, but the uh, Vizi 16RX offers uh, one color wheel with 14 different colors. We're talking about all your basic colors, lighter colors, your uh, CTBs, your CTO, your UV, all sorts of really cool colors uh, for that. Let me actually turn that one on so you can take a look at that. Uh, you're looking out also at two separate wheels for gobos uh, for a total of uh, 17 static gobos and 12 replaceable rotating and indexing gobos. Your dimming and your shutter is motorized. So there is a physical shutter that closes and opens for your dimming and for your shutter the lamp will always stay open or on as long as you have the um, uh, fixture on. There is an uh, on-off switch in the back. And uh, w since we're in the back, and let me go ahead and give you a tour, here's your on and off switch that uh, I was talking about. Only has a power con input, and it has a 3-pin DMX input and output and 5-pin DMX input and output. Whereas uh, the... Uh, Visi BSW 300 has both PowerCon input and also has PowerCon output, has your 3-pin input and output, and 5-pin three three input and outputs for DMX. And this is what I'm using to both run power to the uh, 16RX and run a DMX chain to the uh, uh, 16RX. And you'll notice here the plate. This is the plate I was talking about, and it is very hot to the touch. You don't want to have the plate uh, or you put your hands on the plate for very long because there is a definitely a, a lot of heat whereas the 16 the BSW 300 does not really uh, have a lot of heat generating there is some heat but not as much as the 16 RX and uh, moving on for the uh, a couple of the features for the uh, Visi hybrid 16 RX uh, we're also talking about a frost filter a motorized focus motorized zoom they both share that motorized focus and zoom and uh, of course, uh, many other features uh, such as dual prisms. So you can have a linear prism and a facet prism. You could even combine both prisms together to cre create some really cool effects. And you could even rotate the prisms to uh, have some awesome effects. So uh, you're probably asking about the price. There is a big price difference as well. We're looking at about uh, $22.99 for the Visi Hybrid 16RX. And uh, we're looking at uh, uh, $18.99 for the Visi BSW 300. 
So guys, uh, one more time, this is just an overview of the ADJ hybrid moving heads that we have to offer. We have a total of two hybrid moving heads with a high output. We have the uh, Vizi BSW300 and the Vizi Hybrid 16RX. And we're just comparing these two fixtures as far as giving you ideas on how to use them and what's the proper way of being able to use them and why should you use them. Uh, the biggest reason is cost and savings for time and money. Not only will you save time and money, but also you'll be able to be more creative with your light shows and your events, being able to bring just one fixture versus three separate fixtures uh, for your shows. So there's less equipment to bring, less equipment to set up, less equipment to maintain, and of course, uh, being able to combine these uh, great features together uh, into your show. So you could have a total of eight fixtures, let's say as an example, eight fixtures, and out of those eight, you could have four of those to be a beam, and four of those to be a wash, or maybe two of those to be a spot, four of those to be a uh, beam and wash. You know, it's, it's your choice, and that's the beauty of having these hybrid fixtures in your arsenal. And these are definitely a big, big monster fixtures, great output, powerful fixtures, one of our most powerful LED and discharge fixtures available in our Vizi line of, uh, of, of products. Uh, the Vizi Hybrid 16RX has a 16R platinum beam, uh, platinum uh, lamp by Philips, so it's a really trusted name brand uh, uh, lamp inside that's uh, going to last you quite a while. However, if you're looking for a lamp with definitely a lot of lifespan, we're talking about 50,000 hours plus, then look at to the uh, Vizi BSW300 with a, its LED rated at 300 watts. So uh, your choice. Again, going over through the pricing, the Vizi BSW300 is at about $1899 dollars, of course, and the Vizi Hybrid 16RX, we're looking at $22.99. So there is a price difference. There's also a, 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 a power difference as far as uh, output. Let me just go ahead and put them side by side. There's a slight color variation as well. Uh, the LED seems to be a just a little bit cooler with a little bluish into the white, and the um, Hybrid 16RX has a little bit warmer uh, white, but they're just as powerful. There's really hardly uh, any noticeable difference. The 16RX slightly brighter, just, just by a little bit. So if you're looking for powerful output, uh, the 16RX might be your ticket. All right, looks like we have some questions on our chat room. We do have questions, perfect. Which one's brighter? Which one's brighter? Definitely for me, the 16RX, the Vizi uh, Hybrid 16RX is just a bit uh, brighter uh, because of its lamp discharge uh, technology. We're talking about a platinum uh, Philips lamp, and uh, those are definitely super bright. And uh, as far as heat, dissipating heat, the BSW300 is a lot cooler, will run a lot cooler and run a lot longer as far as lifespan for your shows and productions. Uh, so, guys, thank you very much. I'm going to go ahead and check the uh, yeah. Facebook room. Yeah. Another Ooh. question. We'll wait until our, our connection, our uh, audio connection comes back. Guys, thank you very much for joining us one more time. Hopefully, you guys can hear me well. I'll try to project my voice a little bit more. <clears throat> All right. As far as shutter, uh, I think the electronic shutter is probably a lot faster because there's no physical mechanical uh, parts that need to move. The, the uh, dimming and the strobing on the VS, uh, Vizi VSW300 is all electronic, so you could have a faster strobe compared to the hybrid 16RX, whereas the 16RX has an, uh, a mechanical shutter that opens and closes, and so there is a physical... Um, uh, shutter that uh, will have uh, some kind of uh, timing uh, issue. So uh, if you're looking for very fast strobing, your BSW 300 is your best bet. We have another question. Fran Jin Goki. Uh, what are the weights and the mounting of the main 
Yeah, so the weights are almost the same. They're about 50 pounds each and you can mount them on a truss or a T-bar. It has, uh, I believe, two Omega brackets underneath the base of the fixture so that you can apply two clamps for each fixture. Uh, these do have a little bit of weight to them uh, and uh, they are heavy duty. These are not your small toy lighting. These are serious lighting for serious lighting professionals. We do have another question. Casey Brown, Baba Booey, hey. Uh, looks like we have uh, Howard Stern fans out there. Welcome to the show, Edgar Bernal. Hey guys, Edgar La Sombra, another Edgar. Raul Galindo, uh, ¿cuánto por uh, un par? Pues uh, los dos tienen un precio un poquito diferentes. Tenemos el Vizzy BSW 300, que es aproximadamente a uh, $1,899 o $1,900. Y el Vizzy Hybrid 16RX viene siendo como unos $23,000, uh, $2,300. So uh, there is a price difference as far as uh, each one goes. The uh, Vizzy BSW just a slightly bit cheaper than uh, or less expensive than the 16RX. Yes, looks like we have another question. Uh, power, consumption. power consumption difference is uh, also uh, considerable. Uh, the total power uh, draw from the uh, BSW 300, we're looking at 120 volts, 60 hertz, 345 watts, 200, uh, sorry, 2.8 amps. For the Vizzy Hybrid 16RX, the power draw at 120 volts is uh, 5.2 amps. The input Voltage is 537 watts. By the way, I'm reading this off of our website. Each one of these has its own product page on the website, adj.com, and it's available for you to view if you wanted to see uh, particular specs. Uh, power input for the uh, Vizzy BSW is 100 to 240 uh, volts, and it auto senses. So if you're using this in Europe or US or any part of the country or any part of the globe, you'll be able to automatically switch uh, those power inputs. Another question. Which has the larger beam? I can adjust the beam to see which one has the wider uh, beam. Let me show you in our uh, scene that I created. So if I go here. All right. So here's a scene that I've, I created to kind of compare the uh, spot beam mode. Oops. There we go. All right, so that would be the spot. This would be the beam. And this would be the wash. So you can see the difference as far as beam angle. Here's the spot mode. Here's the beam mode. And here is the wash mode. Now as far as beams are concerned, uh, the Vizzy Hybrid 16RX does contain a couple more beam reducers. For those of you who don't know, when you are running uh, beam fixtures, there are special gobos called beam reducers, and they're just slightly smaller gobos, uh, circle gobos. Uh, and here are the beam reducers for both. So uh, we have a beam reducer for uh, the Vizzy Hybrid 16RX and the Vizzy BSW 300. This is the smallest uh, gobo, the smallest beam reducer, and then we move on up to the next one up. As you can see, uh, we do have uh, several more options. I'm gonna go ahead and go back to the small one. It's shooting to the back of the studio and Candace is uh, turning the camera around so you guys can see that. On your left is the Vizzy Hybrid 16RX, on the right is the BSW 300. Moving over to the next uh, gobo up, or the beam reducer size up. Moving over to the next one. And then finally the last one. So you have a couple more options for the Vizzy Hybrid 16RX. Got another question. Watch the, the product video the yeah, this is a very small compact space. Uh, we don't have a lot of room to be able to show you some aerials uh, and projections. And this is really just giving you ideas as far as why you should use hybrid fixtures and what's a perfect way, uh, perfect applications for these fixtures uh, and 
uh, of course, seeing the, the price savings. We do have product videos for each one of these. All you have to do is go to our website, adj.com. There's a search feature, or there's a go direct to product feature. It's a drop-down menu, and you're able to go and scroll through all the products. Look for the Vizi BSW 300 for the LED version of the hybrid. And uh, we have the Vizi Hybrid 16RX for your lamp discharge version of the hybrid fixtures. And we got two to choose from. So again, uh, those of you just joining us, we're just showing you a couple of ideas on how to use the Vizi hybrid uh, fixtures of moving heads from ADJ. We have the Vizi B BSW 300, which is an LED, and the Vizi Hybrid 16RX, which is a lamp discharge. And uh, they do have some differences, but overall, hybrid fixtures will save you a lot of time and money for your production, your uh, installation, your mobile DJ use, or uh, all sorts of, uh, even if you're a rental company, uh, hybrid fixtures uh, could offer you a little bit more incentive for your customers should they want to rent hybrids and a great opportunity for you to make extra cash, extra money for your bottom line business. Good questions, guys. Keep them coming. And uh, thanks for, for all the input that you guys are doing. Thank you very much, Edgar. Doing a great job. Thanks. Rick Aston. Do they have gobos, shake effect? Yes, of course. Uh, both fixtures offer plenty of gobos. We're talking about uh, 14 gobos. We have uh, both static gobos and rotating replaceable indexing gobos. And both of the gobos uh, wheels have shake mode. So you can have a little bit of shake, and I could demonstrate that right now. Let's uh, pick uh, this one right here. The whoop, 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 whoop. Be careful, these are really bright. So the Vizi BSW 300, the one right here, let's go ahead and give uh, a gobo. And we could even uh, focus that gobo a little bit. We can, sh I know it's not a great uh, way to do it, but uh, here we're gonna have Candace turn the camera to the back of the studio. There's one gobo, here's another gobo. You have really cool gobos, and you could adjust the focus. You could even adjust the size with the uh, uh, with the zoom. Uh, in the BSW 300, we have a fixed zoom range for both beam and spot, and uh, you could also rotate the gobo. Let me add a little bit of rotation. You could index the gobo, meaning that you could adjust where the gobo uh, you want it to kind of rotate to and you could keep it there and it'll save that space and of course we mentioned gobo shake for those of you who love gobo shakes here we go here's a gobo shake you could even adjust the speed of the shake depending on uh, how far into the channel you go and so yeah there's plenty and plenty of different gobo options uh, this one is uh, our rotating gobo but we also have stamped gobos for those of you who are into stamp gobos, uh, the stamp gobos do require for you to adjust your beam. So uh, these th these are the beam reducers. Here's a stamp gobo for you, and you could adjust uh, the focus and uh, be able to uh, even split it using a prism. Let's go ahead and a prism, shall we? There we go. Ooh, look at that! And you can even rotate the prism. Wow, this is all live, guys. Uh, I'm just on the fly here programming, adjusting the different DMX uh, channels so that we can create some uh, live effects. What if we wanted a different prism? Hey, check it out. We got a, a now a facet prism. I believe it's a six-facet prism as well as a linear prism. Uh, what if I didn't want this gobo? I wanted to have a, another gobo on top of it. I could do that as well and create gobo morphing just by adjusting the focal point so I can go from this gobo to that gobo or just kind of create a very eclectic abstract shape uh, and these are really good for uh, you know events uh, you know such as weddings or corporate events where you just want to kind of create an atmosphere of light all around the room and you've achieved this using one single fixture. And that's the whole point of the hybrid fixtures is that you can uh, use just one fixture 
to uh, do this instead of three uh, fixtures uh, separately. So instead of having a spot or a beam and a wash, you can have uh, all of them together in one fixture. Thank you very much for your questions. We've got another one. Cameron, how are you doing? Well, I am controlling the lights using the latest version of my DMX 3.0. I have here uh, the DMX um, user interface, uh, which is a dongle or a box that I can connect via USB. And it uh, has two DMX outputs. One is a three pin DMX output, and the other one is a, a, a five pin DMX output. This blinking light tells me that the, there is a DMX single being sent out and it's being sent out to my first fixture and I'm daisy chaining the DMX line to the next fixture and here's my interface here I am able to separate my fixtures in groups right here on top so I can program the VS, BS, uh, sorry the Visi BSW 300 or I can program the Visi Hybrid 16 RX or I can create a show that has all of them both put together and down here, I can uh, directly select which fixture I want to control or program. It's a really great software program for all of, hey, there's my face in the reflection. <laughs> hey. Uh, it's a really great software program, very easy to use. It's not that complicated. You can patch in fixtures. It shows you your grid of your universe, and you could add several universes together. You can uh, simply search for a fixture. I'm going to search for Visi. Sorry not Vixie, Vizi hybrid and here I can find the fixture it's under American DJ and then drag and drop it over to my matrix DMX and now I've patched a fixture I can see that the address is 40 it gives me the address and I could go to the fixture go into this menu and address it uh, appropriately and here I could add and uh, being able to uh, uh, go to the, my different scenes that I've created I, uh, once I find the scenes that I like, I can go ahead and play them back live. And I could even run multiple scenes together, which is a huge advantage over My DMX 2.0. This is what makes My DMX 3.0 super, is the ability to be able to run multiple scenes at the same time, granted that they're in separate groups. So check it out, uh, My DMX 3.0 by ADJ, great program to run. And if you add a Wi-Fi transceiver then your world is an oyster. You have so many capabilities of being able to send wireless DMX to your fixtures. That's a whole nother show. We can talk about that at a later time. Yes, we got another question. Will Ford want to know what is CTO? Oh, great question, Will Ford. Uh, CTO and CTB are short for color correction orange and color correction blue, or sorry, color temperature orange and color temperature blue. And what it is, is uh, an adjustment or a filter in the light that allows for people who are into theater or television to kind of color correct uh, the cameras or the scene uh, for proper uh, skin tone adjustment. So I'm going to give you an example. We're going to go into um, kind of like an off-white, yeah, so here we go. So uh, the fixture we're going to look at, the hybrid 16RX, has uh, a CTO in it. Let me turn this one off. Da, da, da. Okay. There we go. Ah. All right. Well, uh, pay attention to this one right here. Let's see if I can uh, edit that one on the fly. So we have uh, here's an example of a CTO. Da, da, da. I don't know if you guys can see it. Why is this one still running? Oh, there we go. That's why. Okay. So, here's an example of a yellow. And uh, we do have a CTO, CTB. So that is a CTB uh, with a little bit of blue added to the color gel or a uh, color uh, wheel. Here's another one where it's uh, more of a CTO, a little bit yellowish. 
There's a little bit of UV. Uh, uh, did I mention that you could also split the colors? The, uh, the ability to use uh, uh, two colors in the same beam is also a great uh, useful tool. So here's a, a more of a pink, here's a yellow, and here's a, a, a filter for CTB. And you can also um, use CTO, color temperature correction orange. So that's what is that's that's what CTO and CTB mean. And it's mostly used in television and uh, film and also theater applications. It's a white, but with a slight color of an orange or a slight color of a B. There's different grades. Uh, if you really want to get into um, that there are plenty of uh, information out there, but uh, you'll be happy to know that both fixtures have uh, some kind of CTO or CTB already in them. Great question, guys. Keep them coming. Good, good, good. Here we go. Here's the, here's the color for that one. There's a blue. There's a CTO for the BSW 300. As you can see, it's white, but it's not perfectly white. Here's, here's without, that's the, the LED color that's about 8,000 degrees uh, uh, Kelvin. And here's uh, our uh, color temperature correction. Here's another one. Oops, that's a little bit more orange. So it changes the, the color temperature according to um, uh, your wishes if you want it a little bit more orange or a little bit more blue. Great questions. Keep them coming, guys. What's up? Where are you guys from? En español, claro que sí. Bienvenidos todos. Aquí estamos en las oficinas de ADJ presentándoles dos productos, los productos híbridos de nuestras cabezas robóticas o movibles. Y este, eh, simplemente estamos explicando a todos por qué es la razón que tenemos los híbridos. ¿Por qué es que tenemos eh, estos productos? Bien simple. Uh, los híbridos combinan varias tecnologías en un producto. Por ejemplo, tenemos eh, la capacidad de tener un spot, como un este, cabeza móvil de spot tradicional. Tenemos la capacidad de modificar la luz, el ángulo, para hacer un as bien fuerte, como un beam. Y también tenemos la capacidad de tener una luz wash para crear un este, luz bien amplio, pero sin definición. Esa es la definición de un híbrido. Tenemos dos. Este es el Busy BSW 300 y ese es el Busy, Busy Hybrid 16RX. Uh, la luz en esta de BSW 300 es tipo LED de 300 watts. Y el BS Hybrid 16RX tiene una lámpara de descarga eh, de platino de Philips de 16R. Por eso es que está bien potente uh, las dos luces, pero el 16RX uh, tiene una uh, ventaja que la luz está un poquito más potente que el LED. Pero tiene una capacidad bien limitada cerca de su vida. Uh, solamente tiene como 5,000 horas de uso. Y eh, si lo compara a un LED, tiene hasta aproximadamente 600,000 horas de uso para un LED. Dependiendo de su situación, teniendo un LED le va a dar ventaja para ahorrar dinero. No hay tener que reemplazar las lámparas tan seguido. Uh, pero si usted está buscando por potencia, quizás el Busy Hybrid 16RX va a ser el producto para ustedes. Thank you very much for tuning in. Muchas gracias por uh, joining us. If there aren't any other questions, we're going to go ahead and say goodbye. And uh, hopefully you can come back and see us again next week where we have another Facebook Live. Arnaldo Offerman, welcome to our show. Thank you very much, Ernie. A lot of ADJ people here. What's going on? I love it. Good, good to see you guys. And uh, of course, price. We'll just end with the price. Uh, the price difference uh, for the Vizi BSW 300, we're looking at approximately uh, $18.99. And for the Vizi Hybrid 16RX, we're looking at $2,299 uh, $2 for the Vizi Hybrid 16RX and $1,899 for the Vizi BSW 300. And these are just map prices. These are prices that are um, 
the lowest advertised price that we have our dealers post publicly. Uh, of course, our dealers may be able to have special deals depending on the situation. So you're going to want to ask our official ADJ dealers, which are listed on the website. You could type in your zip code and up comes up local dealers in your area. You could also do a search and you could uh, find dealers online that were willing and more than happy uh, to sell your products uh, online as well. Uh, so uh, that's it for us, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, make sure you follow us on Instagram, on Facebook, even on Snapchat. And of course, uh, YouTube, all the product videos are available on YouTube. If you go to YouTube, you'll find the official product videos for these two products to give you more of an idea of how they look in a larger scale, in a larger venue. Uh, this studio is very small, so it's, we're just kind of just talking briefly over uh, these two products. So on behalf of everybody at ADJ, we want to thank you very much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye, everybody.